Hi guys, it's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. Thank you for joining me. For those of you who may be catching me for the very first time, my name is Elaine. I'm an Animal Reiki Master and I help people prepare for and cope with pet loss. And I know it's a hard topic. Um, it's something that I wish that we could make an easier topic. Um, and I hope that with each one of these videos, I am helping make the process easier for at least somebody. Um, because I understand from personal experience exactly what it means when our animal companions um, cross to the Rainbow Bridge. And I like to be able to help people manage that process. Not just manage the process, but I like to be able to help people create a space of love and peace and compassion for themselves and their animals when it comes time for them to cross. And yes, it is an, um, it's an unfortunate fact of life that our animal companions generally cross before we do. And if they've been members of our family as my animals have, it creates, um, it creates a sadness, it creates a hole in our heart and it creates a grief. And sometimes we get mired down in that grief and we are unable to stay connected with our animals if you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I share with you energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just takes different forms. When we think about ice turning into water, turning into steam, and how that whole cycle begins again, um, their energy never leaves just because they leave their physical body. And their love, we always have access to that pure, perfect, positive love that is our animal companions. But when we are stuck in grief and in those lower emotions of remorse and guilt, it makes it really hard for us to, to maintain that connection. Hang on a second. I reside in Colorado where it is super dry, guys. So I've always got to stay hydrated. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. I want to share with you some practical things. And I'm going to share some stories with you as I do this. Um, this is my little, I call it my my ancestral altar, but it's just my, it's just my animal companions. So being a, a, an animal mom to seniors, that's my personal preference. I love to take in seniors and, um, my dogs were all, in fact, three of them crossed in the past year, uh, but they were all seniors. Two were 13 and one was 11. Um, Winston, this is, this is the paw print for my little Winston here. There he is. Um, Winston used to be in all my videos. He was my little mascot. He was my rescue. He was a King Charles Cavalier. He was deaf. He had a grade six heart murmur, congestive heart failure. Um, when I first brought him into my home, the veterinarian said he would probably last a day or two to give him as much love as I possibly could. Um, and he stayed with me for two and a half years. It was the most wonderful, wonderful relationship with my beautiful Winston. My Lucy, this is Lucy. Well, this is Lucy over here. Um, Lucy crossed last August. Uh, she was 13 year old, 13 year old black lab, and it was her time. Um, she, her whole body failed her. Um, she wanted to stay with us as so many of our animals do, and their little physical bodies just can't take it any longer. And then just most recently is my Jack. Jack crossed just on December 1st. And uh, Jack was also 13, uh, just about the same age as Lucy. They weren't quite 14 yet. They'd made it to about 13, year, 13 and a half years. Jack was a yellow lab. Lucy was a black lab. Um, and his little body failed him as well. And he had several, several health conditions that, um, again, he would have stayed in his little body for as long as he could. He and my husband were super bonded. Um, that's part of what we're going to talk about. And... Um, and he crossed just this past December. So what I do, I, as an animal Reiki master, I have learned to open a space of love and peace and compassion. And I understand that healing can take many different forms. Healing can be recovering from an illness or injury. Healing can be um, learning to live with a chronic condition. Healing can be crossing over or transitioning to the Rainbow Bridge. And one of the ways that we can help manage our grief or overcome our grief is by creating memorials. This helps us create memories and it helps us have a productive way of dealing with our, dealing with our grief and managing our grief. 
So the first thing that I want to show you is something that my husband had done. <clears throat> so when it came Jack's time, my husband couldn't be there. He was, uh, he was not in an emotional place to be there. It was very, very hard on him. Um, he and Jack had a, had a beautiful morning together before um, he left me with Jack in, and for me to take care of with Jack and the veterinarian. So, but what, one of the things that he had done, so these are some things I do. Uh, you guys may or may not know this, um, but I spend two days a week working for a, it's essentially a pet funeral home. And one of the things that we do is create memorials for people to help them honor their pets. So that's what these are here. These are called Rainbow Bridge Memorials. They've got the beautiful poem of the Rainbow Bridge in them, a little, uh, a little bit of their fur, their ink paw prints. I also had done their um, clay paw prints. So I had clay paw prints done for Lucy, for Jack, for, and Winston, I just had an ink paw print done. But other animals that I've worked with, so I have worked with many, many animal clients um, as they cross over, helping them during their transition. And, and sometimes their, their humans give me little um, memorials as well. Um, sometimes their humans give me um, just little mementos of the animals that I've worked with. And I find it so comforting to have those. I find, and in the beginning, it's hard. In the beginning, I have shed many tears. Honestly, guys, I have shed many tears. Um, but to know that they are in a space of pure, positive love gets me through. And, and I know that I can still connect with them. But creating a memorial is a beautiful way. So I recommend, and I know that I talk about this in practical terms, but I try to guide people. Um, I try to guide you through this process so that you can make the experience of transition one that is beautiful and peaceful and compassionate and helps your animal companion to know that they can cross safely, that you are there. One of the greatest gifts you can give them is to be present. And I understand because from my own husband who could not be present, one of the greatest gifts that you can give them is to find a way to be present with them. So for me, between my husband and I, it was me who could be present at the final moments. But the morning of, the time that my husband got to spend with Jack was just beautiful, knowing that they were able to spend those last hours together. Um, it's the greatest gift you can give them is comfort and safety and security and, 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 and compassion and letting them know that their transition can be one of ease and beauty. Um, and then this is what my husband did have done. So the way that he was able to find some consolation in his grief was to, was to create this beautiful glass picture. Isn't that kind of cool? No, I'm sorry, you're getting a little, a little reflection there of everything. Um, this is called, it's a fracture. It's the name of the company, F-R-A-C-T-U-R-E. And what they do is take pictures and put them on glass. So you can create a pretty, he, would, he took a picture. He, they, they wrote some words on there for him about what he wanted to remember for Jack. Um, so that's another way that you can create beautiful memories. So that's really what all I wanted to share with you today was that there are ways that you can help to reduce the grief, um, ease some of your own pain, uh, and that is by creating a beautiful memorial for your animal. And if you have, um, which I understand there's no judgment in this, if the emotions are so raw, if the emotions are, are just a little bit rough, um, reach out to me because I can help with that. I'm happy to help with it. I know the whole process from beginning to end, and I'm happy to help coach you, mentor you, walk you through the process as your animal transitions into their next phase of their beautiful existence. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, oh, you know what? I'm supposed to say this, that you are so, that you please, because if the more we can get this message out there, if you subscribe to the channel, click the little bell notification, you'll get notices of when I post new videos. You can also ask questions. I try to reply to everybody. So if there's a specific question that you have, post it in the comments below and I will do a live stream about it. I have so many beautiful videos that I've been able to create from my amazing connections with you folks. But for now, um, have a beautiful, wonderful day wherever you happen to be in the world and may the animals light your way. Take care. Bye.